are you doing, guys? I'm doing great. <laughs> I hope you're all doing great. So, I would consider myself as an artist. I mean, I've been drawing for years, and it's like the only thing I know how to do. Besides eat, sleep, and procrastinate. Sorry. So like anybody else, we all have problems, and a lot of artists have the same problems. So I made a list of things that get me really peeved as an artist. And I don't care if you heard it a million times, you're gonna hear it a million times, because I can complain about anything. First thing is when you're really in the zone, like maximum overdrive, and you go to take a break or whatever, come back, and your pen is gone. It's disappeared. Gone forever. Then, like, weeks later, you find it under your chair or something, and it wasn't there when you first lost it because you looked there already! Second thing is for a digital artist, and when it's your art program crashes, and all your work is gone. Number two and a half is when you realize you're drawing on the wrong layer, and your line art and sketch layer are on the same one, and you die a little on the inside. Third thing is when you draw something you're really proud of, and you decide to line it, and you realize that was a big, big mistake. You ruined your amazing sketch trying to line it, and all your nice details are gone, and it looks wonky. Fourth thing is if you ever draw in public, this happens to you, and you already know what I'm talking about. It's when some... some guy just... is trying to see what you're drawing, and you can tell that they're trying to be subtle about it, but it's not working because you know... you know they're looking, and it's just awkward. And I know it's not just me, but when people are watching you draw, your skills just decrease by like 70%. What's even worse though is if they talk to you about your drawing, like asking what it is and the most annoying thing in the world. Can, can you draw me? Uh, yeah, I can. Awesome! Uh, will you draw me? Oh, no. Unless it's like someone really cool and you want to impress them with your rad skills, then the answer is always no. I will not draw you. And the worst thing ever is when your family wants to look through your sketchbook. Like they want to brag about how talented their child is and want to show off what their artwork is like. Oh Martha, you're not going to believe this. They're so talented, I can't even draw a stick figure. <laughs> wow, look at that. I'm sorry. Fifth thing is art block, and art block is just like, for a while, your creativity, motivation, or inspiration just stops. And it just... It just sucks. Like you sit there like a sack of bread not doing anything when you want to. One tip on what to do with art block is just draw it anyway. Even if it's bad, because you can still improve even then, trust me. Also, if you're getting ideas but aren't drawing, make a note of them somewhere after your art block passes so you can use all your great ideas. Sixth thing is when you can't Draw the other friggin' eye! A tip for this, though, is not to draw one eye at a time. It's to draw, like, the first part for both eyes. It'll make things easier and not so... weird looking. And some honorable mentions. When you can't draw hands, when you can't draw feet, when your pen pressure isn't working, when your lead breaks after you sharpen it, when somebody bumps the table or desk while you're drawing, when you try and doodle in a car ride, when you try to take a picture of the drawing in the car ride, when you post a photo when you see a mistake and you can't take it down and fix it because a lot of people already liked it and you just have to live with your mistake, when somebody points out that mistake and you die a little more inside, when your ink smudges, when you get really great ideas at night and forget them in the morning, when you go to erase something but the paper tears, when you don't bring the right supplies on a trip, when you use a wrong color for something, and when someone traces, copies, or straight up steals your art, but that can be a whole video on its own. <sighs> <laughs> wow, that was a lot. <laughs> of course, these are all little things to fuss over, but it's good to complain and let it out sometimes. If you guys have any other artist problems I didn't mention, complain about it in the comments. Also, comment any other video ideas you'd like to see from me. And it's pretty dang cool that I've been getting fan art already. You guys are very talented, thank you so much. And have you heard this music? Animac made it for me. It's a bop. Wait, is it a bop, a jam, or is it banging? Because I would say all three. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and following my social media. I hope to see you in the next video. But uh, bye.